Listen, tell your neighbor, say, do you know who you are? Ask them. Wait for the answer. What did they say? Did they say anything? Okay, well, you tell them, I'm a child of... Come on, come on, come on. If that's your identity, if that is your identity, you got to celebrate a bit better than that. Are you ready? Come on, somebody say, I know who I am. I know who I am. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, somebody clap. Hey.
Hallelujah. Please be seated. Please be seated. We want to welcome each one of you to the house of the Lord. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. It is such a blessing to see you, each one of you. Are you with me? Yes. I said thank you for coming. Thank you. Okay. You were quiet, so I didn't know what to make out of it. I like a group of people that interact with me. God has been good to us. Yes. His mercy endures forever. Yes. So, I thank the Lord for bringing you. And um, today, I think is one of the most powerful <laughs> nights. The, the word that is in your spirit is a compass. The word that is in your spirit is a candle. The word that is in your spirit is a determining factor of how you will conduct your life. Many times we live however we want because we don't have a compass. But the word of God becomes the compass. Amen. Until then we are focused on outward appearances. Until then we are focused on many things that are that look spiritual but are only religious. Huh? <laughs> so we want to thank the Lord that uh, is bringing us here to study the word of God. Last, last week I started a topic. I, I can. <laughs> I'm glad that at least few of you are excited about the word. I would call this to me, the topic of topics. Mm. And uh, it was about the kingship of Enoch. Yes. I've been to over 100 plus cities around the world, yet I don't have any pastors who I call as friends that I call and talk and chit chat with. And they thought it's probably because I'm upset with them or don't want them, but they don't understand this is my lifestyle. I don't believe in calling anyone so I can get invited. I go where the Lord sends me and I am happy like that. Even if I don't go, I'm still happy. My happiness is not in the ministry I do, but I have sons and daughters that God has given me that that have learned how to love God and they have become my friends. And I may still not chit chat, <laughs> but, um, but I think they understand my calling now. It's taken them time. But they've understood that there are some ministers like this. I do things to provoke you. If you don't like bracelet, I'll wear a bracelet. <laughs> and I can tell by the way you look. That's the purpose of that is because my pursuit has been different. But one thing that I've pursued from my young age is that I said, I, I want to be like Enoch. It's been something that for the longest of time that I concluded that this is not possible. And just when I start losing hope that maybe kind of not um, 
such kind of things are not possible. Certain dimensions came to me a few weeks ago and I've been suddenly revived. In, in other words, suddenly I have hope. Suddenly I'm thinking, oh, okay, hold on, it's possible. So that means that I've been now in the ministry for 30 years. I would say that at least 25 of that years, or you can say at least two decades. And I was convinced that it's not possible. But now I see a shimmer of hope. In other words, it, it, it took two decades of uh, pursuit. Suddenly, what was very complicated to me, I look at it and I said, it's not complicated anymore. Now I see. <sighs> so if I'm sharing some things today, I'm also aware that I'm sharing it to maybe some people who desire the same and maybe some others who don't even care about it or some others who don't even know what that means. But I still share it because another thing you have to understand about me is I told God anything you give me I will freely give it to your people. I will not hide it. And I have done that from the beginning. Is also the reason why you see so many pastors in our ministry. I personally mentor more than 100 pastors personally, for one-on-one. -on -one. And without direct contact, anywhere up to 300 pastors that are in a network that I mentor. So you can imagine that that is not a, an everyday attempt. You don't see that kind every day. And that came from my desire to freely give everything that I have taught to inspire people to say, look, if I can do it, you can do it. <sighs> so tonight what I'm sharing to you <laughs> is gold or more precious than gold. So, I might gently be talking to you, but I'll be watching you. It might look very simple, but it is not. It might look it is complicated, but it is not. And that is the mystery of Enoch. And I'll tell you the reason I'm, I'm sharing it is because the Holy Spirit has been telling me that the spirit of Antichrist that is already here are challenged by two forces. And that is the spirit of Elijah and the spirit of Enoch. Okay? The spirit of Antichrist is already here, is what the Bible says. And so is the spirit of Elijah. And so is the spirit of 
Enoch. But very, very few people have tapped into it. One more time. Yes. So, I want you to give me your full attention today, if possible. So that I don't know what may happen out of this word tonight. Many people prefer me sitting down with them over coffee and and helping them. But what they don't realize is that I give you more in a setting like this. Sometimes I'm shocked by how many times people are like, you know, but if only I could meet him. And I'm thinking I just gave you kingship of Enoch. Okay. Now what am I going to sit down and give you other than show you some love and attention and I know some people like that. But what I'm giving you here is greater than love and attention. Okay. So I want you to please one thing about human beings that I have understood is that you can give them your best but that is not necessarily their best. So they will still hate you because you didn't give them what they wanted. You give them your best like it took me 20 years wow. to get here <laughs> and i give that to you but they didn't like it they just wanted to shake hands with me <laughs> so i can give you my best and still not be appreciated because you just wanted to shake hands with the man well, we but the man is saying <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> But the man is saying I just give you what I was searching for 20 years. So don't think that what I'm giving you tonight is simple. If it was up to me I would not even give it to you because I'm still discovering it. I'm still it just entered my mouth. I want to chew on it first. But here I am I'm about to just give it to you. Yeah. Now the reason I say systems of Enoch I want you to understand the reason I'm saying system of Enoch is because there are dimensions that are activated through an individual Okay, dimensions are activated through an individual. Long after that individual departs from this earth, even though the physical body has left the earth, the spirit of that individual continues his journey on earth and that spirit of that individual is waiting to locate other individuals that have similar desires similar character similar passions similar zeal for the lord and that spirit attaches to that individual and now that spirit continues his or her legacy through that host through which god's purposes continue I want you to see how that happened with Elijah. The Bible says 
Elijah left but thousands of years later it was prophesied that there is going to be a John the Baptist that he will come in the spirit of Elijah huh there is an individual that is being quoted saying that this guy when he comes he is not coming by his own spirit he is not even coming by the holy spirit okay this is where religious people go crazy we have christians we have such a narrow understanding about god we feel like if holy spirit is not mentioned god is threatened but yet it was god who said i'm going to send him in the spirit and power of elijah that means god himself was not threatened to say i need this individual you have a voice prophet is luke chapter 1 luke chapter 1 verse 17 luke chapter 1 verse 17 and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of elias he shall go before him who shall go is talking about john the baptist shall go before jesus how is he going in the spirit and the power of elijah is this new testament or old testament yes. <laughs> just wanted to see if it because some people only prefer if it is in Matthew Mark Luke John uh, so this is your bible saying there is a system that continued but that system required a host somebody that could carry that grace somebody that could continue that legacy somebody that could carry that assignment somebody that could fulfill the purpose that spirit was first released so then the question is what was the first purpose that was released the first purpose was to bring order into israel the spirit of elijah to turn the sons to the fathers to turn the hearts of the people of god but in that time there is a jezebel that fights elijah i was talking to a few pastors and i was sharing this with them and i told them Jezebelic spirit was very insignificant until it challenged Elijah. Jezebel until then was a mad lady going around buying properties. <laughs> until the man of God challenged her and stopped her. suddenly she became very important suddenly she began to be known as the one who persecuted prophets suddenly some woman until then she was the wife of Ahab but the moment she was able to challenge Eli- and Elijah and when Elijah ran away immediately now she's no more the wife of Ahab now she is known as that woman that chased the prophet what happens in the realms of darkness are you okay all so far yes i don't want to get over complex i want to make sure you're with me what happens in the realms of darkness is that when a demonic spirit wins an assignment that demonic spirit is elevated in their ranks wow wow okay when you see the lord say 
I'm giving you my name. That is an elevation. The same principle and protocol happens in the realms of darkness that when a demonic spirit that is sent to steal kill and destroy when it achieves that assignment the spirit above that spirit comes and ge- elevates this spirit and please sit down mana god and promotes that spirit to a higher ranking with more demons now under that spirit So if you look at Jezebel she goes on persecuting prophets after prophets people after people and she goes unchallenged to the place where now her name sends shivers to the men of God hear me even though Elisha successfully released grace on Jehu and Jehu takes the woman Jezebel down but you see the spirit survives the spirit survives why does the spirit survive because it is still waiting for elijah it's still waiting saying i'm i am not done so it changes the host so jezebel the woman dies but the spirit now jumps to the next person the final showdown will be seen in the book of revelation where that spirit of jezebel is finally destroyed so what happens is that until that set time where there's a final showdown you're seeing host change the host keeps the same system as it 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 has more victories it becomes bigger and bigger in the realms of the spirit become the more it consumes the more it becomes a principality okay that's a, a a a key there one more time the more a spirit consumes the more it grows and becomes a principality look at your neighbor and say you too you're a spirit so now that you said that you turn to your other neighbor and just do the same remind them as well tell turn to the other your other neighbor your second choice <laughs> did you tell them as well that you too you are a spirit you are a spirit yes now remember the statement i said before <laughs> okay i don't know is this the right crowd that yeah. i yeah okay 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 ay 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 you are so special to hear this word so remind me the statement i made before that a spirit the more it consumes the more it grows into a the more victories you have the more you are elevated in the spirit the more rankings you have in the spirit do you understand why the enemy wants you to just sit down and die do you understand why the enemy wants you to commit suicide do you understand why the enemy wants you to walk away from your church from your pastor from your leaders from your place of blessing because the enemy knows the more you stay the more you are rooted the more you grow the more you consume the more victories you have the more you are elevated and the more your rankings are increasing in the spirit and the devil cannot have that already you have grown too far already and already you have had too many victories 
So he must stop you now at all cost. He has to what? Before it is too late, the enemy has to stop you now. Before you go from being a, 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 a soldier to a general. Before you grow from a general to a principality. He has to do everything to stop you now. But tonight, the devil should have stopped you from coming today. But it's too late now. This word is going to set a dynamo. Like a dynamite that breaks. May this shift you tonight in Jesus name. The systems that God has placed. Many believers are not even aware of such systems. I'm seeing the Lord giving this word to few people. This word is changing you into a principality. What is going to happen is you're going to walk back to those corridors or places that defeated your father, that defeated your ancestors. And you're going to walk into those places after this night. And you will have victory in Jesus' mighty name. I'm seeing a scepter coming to people today. A scepter. The Lord is releasing a scepter into the hands of someone. Some people's fire has been going off, but the fire is going to burn tonight. So the systems that have grown unchecked, God is looking for a man and a woman that can catch those spirits that have gone unchecked. And they have grown and grown and grown and become principalities. Child of God, you are going to locate them. Amen. You know? Do you understand what I mean by gone unchecked? Yeah. If you, if you know a little about chessboard, do you, do you understand a little? Yeah. There is a, po- a place where they come and check the king yes. on the other side. Saying check, meaning you can't move anyway. You're going to check the enemy in Jesus' name. Yeah. All right. Gently walk with me now. Those spirits that have grown, God is looking for men and women of God in this generation that will now become the spirits that had an assignment to take this spirit down. So what happens to spirit like Elijah? What happens to Elijah? He does not have understanding. So he sees a Jezebelic spirit, does not confront her, does not confront that spirit. Instead, he resigns. So, Elijah's assignment is incomplete. Now God who sent Elijah with an assignment to destroy the spirit is still looking for individuals that can carry that grace of God that was on Elijah and complete that assignment that is still in his bones. You would understand, John the Baptist could not complete the assignment. John the Baptist 
was attacked by the spirit of Elijah and his head came on a platter. That means even now, that spirit is intimidating the people that have the grace to be Elijah's in this generation. That spirit is still saying, I shall make you depressed. Are you following what I'm saying? So the moment you start now functioning in the grace of Elijah, you have to also understand that spirit is now also going to threaten you with depression. So when you see an attack coming to you, can you tell this attack is the result of an anointing? What is the anointing on you that is triggering an attack? Because we've always thought in one direction. The one direction has been, oh, I am attacked, I need more anointing. But what if it was the anointing that brought the attack? If you were not anointed, you would not be attacked with the spirit of depression you would not be sleeping so long under the juniper tree nobody would have bothered you but this spirit is saying I cannot leave you unchecked until you know who you are and you decide to check the enemy first so there are demons that has attacked successfully your, your ancestors, they attacked your mother, attacked your family, attacked your grandmother, and now it is coming to attack you until you say, wait a minute. Yes. Come on. Me, I, I am not a victim like my family. But most Christians fall in the trap. Most Christians fall in the trap of feeding into the enemy. Instead of recognizing the trap, instead of recognizing what the enemy is doing, most believers fall into the trap. You fall and do now exactly what Jezebel wants. What Jezebel wants is for you to run. What Jezebel wants is you to be depressed. What Jezebel wants is you to be exhausted and say, take my life. Don't give him that pleasure. Don't give that demon the pleasure of even thinking of taking your life. Say no, I know the grace of God in me. The systems continue and it is looking for a host. One more time. So what is the difference between Elijah and somebody here tonight that is going to capture the spirit of Elijah. What is a guarantee that you also, your head won't be on a plate? Uh, We have to know. Talk to me. How can you be sure? How can you be sure? I'll tell you how we can be sure. You can be sure because Elijah missed an understanding. There's a part of him that didn't understand that caused him to run. There's a part of John the Baptist that didn't have understanding that caused him to question Jesus. Child of God, you and I, the Lord is releasing understanding tonight. How, how can I confidently say that? It, it's, it seems very far-fetched to say that you, you have more understanding than Elijah. Do you know you are greater than Elijah? Jesus said that. 
Jesus said the one who is born in the kingdom <laughs> he is greater than John the Baptist that it's Matthew 11:11 uh-huh. verily i say unto you among them that are born of women there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist uh-huh. notwithstanding he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he Give me years we let's try and break it down our generation king james version goes above our heads <laughs> truly i uh-huh. say to you aha uh-huh. among those born of women uh-huh. there has arisen wait a minute no- uh, just just because of all the <laughs> hold on <laughs> because of all the confusion i just want to make sure everyone here is born of a woman All right, let's continue. Among those born of women, aha, uh-huh. there has arisen uh-huh. no one greater than John the Baptist. No one greater than John, John the Baptist, the Baptist. okay? Aha. Uh-huh. Why? Because he's saying that John the Baptist came in the spirit of Elijah. So the guy didn't just come in his own spirit. So that means there is a John the Baptist spirit. And now he's carrying who spirit? Yes. And that can you imagine? So this guy is coming with a combination power. So Jesus himself is saying this guy of all the women that is born there's nobody greater than John the Baptist. And go on. Yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven Aha. is greater than he. That is why I'm telling you you are greater than Elijah. Why? Because the spirit of Elijah in the Old Testament is a spirit that fled from Jezebel. But yet the spirit of Elijah in the New Testament is not the spirit that is now with John the Baptist. He's a spirit with the Holy Spirit. Huh? So I don't know if you're understanding. Jesus is saying that John the Baptist is the greatest because he has a combination of who spirit Elijah. spirit of Elijah and he's saying yet you're you are greater than that because you have a combination of who spirit the holy spirit okay now yet the holy spirit is not against the spirit of Elijah so imagine now when somebody carries a combination of the spirit of Elijah and the sp- the holy spirit what is the function of the holy spirit he leads you in all truth one more time <laughs> what does the spirit of elijah not have what is missing in the spirit of elijah information understanding he's terrified by Jezebel because of the lack of understanding what makes you greater than Elijah come on is that you have the holy spirit plus understanding now why am i saying this because there are some people with holy spirit and no understanding I hope you can appreciate a night like this. Yes. You know why? Because that holy spirit is now giving you understanding. Amen. So you imagine the thousands of Christians is no match against the spirit of Jezebel. Because if you talk to the spirit of Jezebel, she says, "I eat prophets for breakfast." She eats them and spits out their bones. She's not afraid of prophets. She chased a major prophet until you. Suddenly there is a shift of trajectory. because we are entering into an end time 
and God is preparing for a showdown with darkness and that showdown requires a, an army to rise up and that army is not an army just because they can wield a sword but that army is an intelligent army it is an army that has understanding when the bible says you are called to be a people of light <laughs> it's not that you can shout loud it is that you have understanding oh my goodness that understanding is what causes the spirit of jezebel to bow down ah yeah 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 i wish your amens were louder that understanding is what will cause demons to flee from your house some of you are about to check some demons in jesus name systems systems there is help for you <laughs> Uh, now that is why you can you can you can read a verse like that in hebrews that now we have come to mount zion and to perfected saints perfected saints of just men what 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 are you talking about who are these people what are you saying is in your bible that you have access to dimensions hebrews 12 Prophet, 22 but ye are come unto mount zion uh, and unto the city of the living god oof. the heavenly jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels to the general assembly and church of the firstborn which are written in heaven and to God the judge of all and to spirits of just men made perfect hey, hey, hey. the church has afraid of talking about spirits of just men immediately they're like oh we are not catholic we don't talk about saints but he just said that we've come to spirits of just men they are justified men they are saints and yet you talk about this in the church today pastors we didn't learn about this in bible college oh <laughs> 3 years of bible college didn't cover this part it's okay it is understood this is why god is raising up a people with understanding in this season can you handle it yes where the difference between a catholic church and a group of people of god that have understanding is that when you see a spirit of just men you're not going to sit down and worship that person you're not burning candles and you're not praying oh saint andrew please intercede for us <laughs> no such chance are happening that's right because the 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 individual that appeared to john in patmos comes to him and he immediately kneels down and he says why are you kneeling down because i am a co-worker in other words he's saying i'm your colleague you and me we are equal it's just that you are coming from one dimension i'm coming from another dimension but we are brothers are you listening to what i'm saying that is the relationship you are supposed to have with just men prophet revelation chapter 2 verse 9 then saith he unto me see thou do it not for i am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book i am worship god i am your fellow servant yes angels are not fellow servants they are servants yeah 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 
I dropped a bomb you missed it Angels are your ministering angels they come to serve you I said that to somebody the other day I said angels are afraid of you Angels are in reverence of somebody that is washed by the blood of Jesus Angels look at you guys and wonder what kind of a wonder you are and when he sees your confessions <laughs> angels are thinking what kind of a blunder <laughs> because angels are confused because angels are like i was sent to serve this fellow <laughs> hmm the last three minutes she was confessing 30 negative things and and the angel is looking up to heaven saying you you sure you want me to walk with the lord <laughs> are you following what i'm saying ah you're not a blunder that's right you are a wonder yeah. angels find you worthy to be served Oh, can you imagine that that is who you and i are yet we are functioning so weak without this understanding but child of god we are in the end time yes. there is a great showdown going to come soon and very soon we are going to meet our king and soon he is raising up an army that will come to rule with iron rods you and i are part of that army but the way you will function then will depend on your spiritual stature now wow that's so true what you will do in that army when he returns there is an army that you are going to be part of how you will function in that army will depend on your spiritual stature on earth how you govern now will determine the position of ranking in that army and i can see in the spirits there is a great gathering happening So it is not by accident that I'm teaching you this is an end time word. Amen. If we have an end time series this would be in part of that. Because God is telling me prepare the bride. Yeah. And how do you prepare the bride? But not just by saying don't do anything wrong just we're going to heaven. No 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 no. Going to heaven is already done guys. <laughs> you don't need to come to church for that. You are saved. You if you die today you will reach heaven. Don't worry. but the church is not so that we make sure that you die and go to heaven the church is so that you're prepared to be part of that army yeah. my goodness my goodness i don't know if you can just 15 seconds clap hands for jesus Are you learning something yes. tonight? The system of Enoch. The reason I had to explain the system of Elijah because we are familiar with the spirit of Elijah. But we are not really familiar with Enoch. So sometimes we need to find information that we can focus on that we can study certain manuscripts and i was teaching you last week about it that i found i went into some ancient mans- manuscripts and studied a few um 
history, early, early manuscripts about the life of Enoch that blew me away. I don't know how long the Lord will allow me to teach that, but as long as you come back, I'll do my best. Amen. All right. I want you to see this. Maybe I can read it for you. Is it okay I read it? And then we go from point by point from there. All right. This is a book called, okay, let's just call it an early Christian manuscript, okay? <laughs> All right. Chapter 3. And Enoch lived 65 years and he begat Methuselah. And that we have that in our Bible. And Enoch walked with God after having begot Methuselah. I like that. To me that information is important. There is a birth that triggers a walking with God. There is a birth thing that triggers a walking with God. And he says, and he served the Lord and despised the evil ways of men. Despised the evil ways of men. So write that down. Number one, the system of Enoch despised the evil ways of the children of men. Now I talk to you about God raising up Enoch's, God raising up Elijah's. And if you ask me, what does that look like? How do I enroll into that system? This is the way you're going to enroll. You have to hate like the way Enoch hates. And you have to love the way Enoch loved. If you do what he did, you can get what he had. One more time. If you do what he did, you can get what he had. So what did Enoch do? Everyone listening now. This is when the enemy wants you to be distracted, so don't give it a moment. He despised look down hated the evil that was in his generation but here we are that evil is now part of our lives in many ways that evil is now celebrated on YouTube that evil is now on our Instagrams where we spend hours and hours scrolling through. Huh? We have become desensitized to sin around us. Dating has been hijacked by the enemy where you are shocked that people are being divorced after one, two, three years of being married and yet you're not realizing they had 30 boyfriends before getting married. They don't know what it means to have one boyfriend. So now you're telling me that after 30 boyfriends you want me to stay loyal to one husband. No, I don't know what it means. I'm just used to dumping the last one when he got upset with me. So now you're telling me I won't do the same. There is a world that has come into the church where divorces are on rise inside the church. The brokenness of the world has now come to us. Are you listening? The world has come to a place where we can't tell the difference because now we date like the way they did. We have become desensitized to sin. If we are not careful now, we are in a place where we won't be able to tell the difference between a child of God and an unbeliever. Because of the desensitization of sin. 
And yet, here is a man of God. And I, I told you, was it last week or the week before? I don't remember. That Enoch lived in a time where there was more sin than what we have today. Was it last week? Okay, the week before last. All right, as long as you remember. Yeah. And I said because those, that group of people, they were ready to sleep with angels. Okay? And here we are in a similar situation where um, such kinds of intimacy has become a normal thing. But God is looking for Enoch's. I will say, let everybody in my generation do it, but I won't. Yes. Let everybody in my generation do it, but I am set apart. Can you despise the evil in your generation? Can you look at sin and call it evil? Can you hate sin to the point where now you interpret that not as a mere mistake, but you look at it and say, that's evil. I have to withdraw myself from it. Your silence is making me feel very lonely here. The system of Enoch hates sin with passion. You ready to connect to the system of Enoch? Yes. Pray for the same grace that you will hate evil with a passion. One, two, three, prayer. In Jesus' name. Some of you are just realizing now that sin has now become part of you. Don't feel condemned. I'm not here to judge any of you. I'm just teaching about Sister of Enoch. How about we release some fire into yourself? Amen into your mind that has become vulgar. Yes. Into your heart that has been hijacked by the enemy. Yes. And say, I am set apart in my generation. Yes. This sin may have entered into me, but I am not part of it. That's right. yes. This is where Apostle Paul can boldly say, yet if I have committed a sin, it is not me, but sin in me. He is able to separate himself and the sin inside of him. Oh my goodness. Yes. I have the verse that Romans 7, chapter, uh, verse 17. Uh. Now then, it is no more I that do it, uh. but sin that dwelleth in me. If you can say that, you can separate that part of you and said, just because I did it, I do not support it, I do not like it, I am not part of it, I disconnect myself from it. Satan, you have no claim on me because I disconnect myself from that part of me. Oh, Malanto, break into Seke. Somebody is connecting to the system of Enoch. One, two, three, prayer. Fire it up. Every 
every emotion that the enemy wants to hijack bombard it in Jesus name every graphic images that the enemy has been feeding your mind bombard it in Jesus name every adulterated thoughts that is flooding your mind bombard it in Jesus name rado brakate lasaya it is not i i connect to the grace of god i connect to the grace of the holy spirit malo brate rabra every weed inside of you be uprooted in the name satan you have no claim on me agree with me and say satan you have no claim on me out in the name of jesus rabarabala kentene kasia get it out of your system uproot it despise it hate it resist it you are not a slave let your light shine again whichever women were sent against you whichever man was sent against you they shall not overpower you you shall not fall into a trap of the enemy your light shall not be extinguished you shall rise up as a mighty force against the spirit of antichrist in this generation rathe razalan dobla adharaja let every strong holds be pulled down in the name of jesus pull down every stronghold pull down every stronghold pull down every stronghold in your mind pull down every stronghold in your heart pull down everything that the enemy has been building up everything that the enemy has been building up for time for years for decades pull it down dance in the garden with my jesus dancing in the garden dancing in the garden with my jesus with my jesus yeah. dancing in the garden dancing in the garden with my jesus yeah. with my jesus dancing in the garden dancing in the garden with my jesus with my jesus in the name of jesus god is restoring your fellowship with me. in the name of jesus god is restoring your intimacy with child of god i plug you back to your power source la ta 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 abrazo zakata bayo saraya la ta ta everything that has slowed down the power of god in you i disconnect you from that in the name of jesus landa managa jaga santo brugodia in the name of jesus there are things that the enemy planted in your life in your mind in your heart so that he can keep you weak things that he made you think things that he made you feel so that he can keep you weak 
child of god today i disconnect you from that in jesus name god comes to adam and says because you hearken to the voice of your wife god did not come and say oh i'm sorry it was not you but he said because you hearken unto the voice of your wife every voice that the enemy has been using to hijack your heart disconnect that is disconnect 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 in the name of jesus your light shall shine brightly in jesus your light shall shine my light shall shine hallelujah sabala kota mano sabala pray in the spirit all over this place i connect back to the system of you know to hate what he hates and to love what he loves Sane veda Lam dam leta ya Len dam rosa Zem rode rayu Can you surrender Tell him, Lord, I renew my heart. There is a very powerful word by Jesus. He said, the prince of this world is coming and he has no claims on me. Child of God, may you be found with no claims of the enemy. Ay 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 thought describe me London de tada Se bona mausa dovre kada di ando riaria Dada raise up a group of people yes lord amen we want more we want more we want more of you god There's no place I rather be. Hey, no place I rather be. Hey, there's no place I rather be. Hey, you're in your life. Hey. Um, tell him, tell him, tell him. No place I rather be. Oh, yeah. I want you to just say lord let your blood wash me let your blood wash me sakata bakata ta lord i reset my walk with you i reset my passion for you i reset my desire for holiness let your blood wash me in the name of jesus come on begin to love him now we want more Declare it, declare it. I want more of you, God. Oh, 
so set on fire. my soul. Tell him I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. You sing now. You tell him I want more of you, God. Let the cry for holiness reach the heavens. He will send grace down to you. If you will cry for it, he will send you grace. Grace is locating you tonight. Grace is locating you. 
Lord, this word is going into your children. It shall never be stolen in Jesus' name. The birds of the air shall not steal it. The thorns of the earth shall not destroy it. It shall not fall aside on the ground. It has been sown into the heart of your children. It has been sown into good soil. It shall bear fruit. You spirit of darkness that is taking over churches. I command you out in the name of Jesus. Free. 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 Your mind is made free by this word. Your heart is made free by this word. Every chains on your spirit is broken by this word. I said every chains is broken by this word. You are free in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the beautiful cooing of the bride. It is reaching heaven and grace is locating you. I love you, I love you, tell him, I love you, Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. I need you, I need you, Jesus, I need you, tell him I need you. Worship you, worship you. I worship you. I worship you, Jesus. I worship you. These people are marked by the blood of Jesus. They are set apart for an end time revival. The people of God that have listened to me today are part of the end time revivalist. 
So in the name of Jesus, you spirit of Antichrist, bow down to Jesus. You shall not touch these people of God. These people of God shall fly high. They shall go from victory to victory. From glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Father, let that victory be released in their spiritual life. Let their victory be part of them in the name of Jesus. Let them come back with their testimony. You're coming back with their testimony. Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout of praise. I want you to carry yourself differently tonight. A lot of things have happened beyond what your naked eyes have seen. Alright, remember that one more time. A lot of things have happened tonight beyond what your naked eyes can see. So don't think that you were part of a service of this level and you're going back same. Your spirit is shining. Your bones are stronger. Yes. You're coming back with greater victories. Where you struggled, you will not struggle. You're going to see that difference in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, I'm looking forward to continue this topic. We will eat. We will eat. And we will eat until we become what we have eaten. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I was looking into the spirits as I was preaching. And I have great hope tonight. Because I know a lot of you are going to be transformed with this word. So soon I'm looking forward to seeing you do exploits. I want you to immerse yourself in this word. Think about it, ponder about it all week until you hear from me again. Whenever that time is, be faithful. Don't just be once in a while Christian. Be steady. Don't miss a single service. Yes, very important. Ah, I see you Sunday. I want you to prepare something to give to the Lord today. Let it be a seed of covenant. Let it be something that you are saying, God, this word is in my spirit. I bring you this offering. May the Lord receive your giving today. And may the Lord receive the giving of the people of God.